Hello everyone. This course on digital manufacturing. The professor is Holt Lipson. Our project is footprint. The team members are Cheng Yi Li, Bo Xuan Li, Tian Yi Sun, and Zhe Ren Zhang. The picture to the right is our best footprint. Our food is shaped like a flower or grass. You can see the shape of the petals and rhizomes. The recipe includes cream cheese or chobani yogurt. The advantages of cream cheese are obvious. It is relatively stable at any temperature. Also, the cream cheese is light in color and can easily be colored by food coloring. The cream cheese builds the overall outline structure. Another material is yogurt. It's highly liquid, so it's impossible to build a base. It will be dotted between the petals. The extrusion value of yogurt should be set very small to prevent additional volume extruded. For lessons, we found that removing as much air from the syringe as possible is the key to food printing, so the material doesn't break. In addition, we can make a pre-print before printing to ensure the best results. So, for the past design, we have several steps. First, we generate three circles with a function of x squared plus y squared equals to 1. And then we generate two circles that is tangent to the pre previous three circles, as shown in the figure. The center of these two circles are set arbitrarily. Then we see the coordinates on the five circles to five different lists and use a policy to select points that could form a continuous smooth curve. Then we delete the points that is outside of the first quadrant and make symmetry about x and y axis. Finally, we add the circle at the center of the pattern. So this is our final print in simulation. We add the path of the second material with the offset value of 22.6 mm, which is the distance between the two extruders. And then we scale the size of the pattern using a scaling parameter that defines by user. Then we connect all the points and reform it as the G code.